We live in a time where image is glorified to the point where surgically, chemically, and dangerously changing our appearance is normalized. Instead of complete satisfaction with the way that we are day to day, Hello, beautiful humans, yet again. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing 120 days of yoga and Qigong transformation. Embark on a deep dive into natural body modification and the ancient practices of yoga and Qigong, exploring their profound impacts on both the body and the mind. Where do I begin with this journey? You might be asking yourself, why 120 days? I feel like 120 days is a long enough time to make a difference in your subconscious and your everyday habits and lifestyle. I have a hard time committing to things and finishing them, so I knew that this was going to be a part of my life's journey. Last spring and summer, I did 120 days of breath work in which I discovered so much about myself internally and even health-wise externally. Why did I choose yoga and Qigong? Yoga is an ancient practice that combines physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation to promote overall health and harmony. Its benefits range from increased flexibility and strength to improve mental clarity and emotional stability. Yoga helps balance your mind and your body. It's also an ancient practice from India that blends physical postures, breath control, and meditation to achieve harmony in the body and mind. Originating over 5,000 years ago, it combines strength, flexibility, and relaxation. Yoga isn't just about poses. It's a holistic journey that connects you with your inner self, promoting overall well-being and peace. Qigong, originating from early shamanic dances, was formalized by the Chinese government into over 1,500 styles. Early practices combined animal-inspired movements with breath exercises aiming for physical and spiritual longevity. Over time, systems like Frolic of the Five Animals integrated traditional Chinese medicine theories. Qi, the vital energy, circulates through body channels. Its balance ensures health. Qigong practices harmonize yin and yang energies, inspired by alchemy and the quest for immortality. We live in a time where image is glorified to the point where surgically, chemically and dangerously changing our appearance is normalized. Instead of complete satisfaction with the way that we are day to day, the anxiety of pressure and perfection has hit an all time high and I'm not here for it. Instead, this spring and summer, I decided to delve into the world of body modification in the healthiest way possible. This routine may be lengthier and more difficult, but hopefully the results will prove to be more gratifying overall. I wanted to share this holistic adventure, capturing the physical, mental, and spiritual evolution that it holds. Whether you're looking to improve your physical fitness, mental health, or spiritual well-being, a path to holistic transformation may be exactly what we need. Let's adventure together and witness the amazing changes practices can bring. I'm not suggesting this as a health practice for everyone. I'm just sharing this journey to hopefully shift the collective and reflect back with my children in future years. Setting a good example for them has always been at the top of my priority list so I can help shape them into the best human beings possible while allowing them to be themselves in the most positive way. Days 1-2 to 
1 through 30. Days 1 through 3 were pretty easy because I wasn't putting any like stress on myself. Also, it was still snowing during early spring in New York, so this gave me something physical to do instead of just sitting around waiting for the sunshine and the nicer days to come, so that was really nice. Every morning I would wake up and do light, light yoga, mainly stretching and understanding my body. I started to connect mentally to where I was feeling tension and holding stress within my muscles and within my body. I have searched all over New York for places to peacefully do yoga, breath work, meditation in public in a really comfortable atmosphere. I've provided all of the locations below. I've only stuck to New York State because that's where I live currently. Eventually I'll branch out and give you guys some other locations that I discover to help you along your journey, hopefully. But I definitely recommend some of these locations if you have access to transportation to visit some of these beautiful, beautiful locations in upstate New York and overall in New York State. Days 30 through 60. So days 30 through 60, I tried to keep consistent as possible. During this practice, there were tons of personal life experiences occurring that I couldn't control. So if there were days that I couldn't practice yoga, I would simply do two rounds the following day to make up for it. Morning yoga and then nighttime qigong. I began to feel changes in my body. Stretching became part of my crucial daily practice during the day and the night. Feeling my body, touching my skin, massaging my muscles. These are all needed and necessary during my daily life now because of it. I want to go over very quickly the mental and spiritual benefits of yoga in nature. Practicing yoga in nature deeply connects us to the natural world, enhancing mental clarity and spiritual growth. The fresh air and natural surroundings create a serene environment, promoting relaxation and mindfulness easily. The connection to nature reduces stress and anxiety fostering a sense of peace and well-being. Mentally, yoga in nature heightens our senses and awareness. The sights, the sounds, the sense of nature. And the natural world grounds us in the present moment, improving focus and concentration. This immersion in nature enhances our ability to be fully present and mindful. Spiritually, yoga in nature fosters a profound sense of unity and interconnectedness. It reminds us of our place in the larger web of life, deepening our connection to the earth and divine. Days 60 through 90. This time frame, I would say, was the most beneficial. I feel like my body was really starting to show results as far as my muscles getting stronger, losing body fat, gaining strength. As an example, I went on a hike at a local park with waterfalls with my brother, and I was actually worried I wasn't physically fit enough, but I surprised myself by not even getting slightly winded. So connecting with my physical well-being on a daily basis really, truly helped 
me be in the moment. This has kept me so conscious of the here and now. I can feel myself getting stronger and more connected to my core, especially in my stomach area and my thighs. I know this goes without saying, but do remember to take time out to enjoy yourself and have fun if you are interested in trying this challenge. Stay connected with one another, your family, your friends, as hard as it is. Have fun, dance. Being sick is a reality, so on sick days, I just relaxed by the water and did light qigong. Remember that a body in motion stays in motion. Do little things every day to keep your body moving. There were some days I didn't want to do anything at all. Asking myself, why am I even doing this? But I just kept going no matter what. A lot of breaks so my body could rest and feel happy. I took some time out to do some manifesting and even took lots of mini breaks to treat myself to boba tea and going out shopping for little things. But no matter how much yoga I do, playing outside with my kids beats any workout in the world. So do what makes you happy. If you guys are interested in homeopathic, homemade makeup that is safe for your skin, safe for your health, I'm going to link a few sites below. Natural makeup links are Lunar Roots Magic. It's the most organic way to look beautiful, feel beautiful, without putting any kind of chemicals or anything that's going to harm you on your skin. So follow those links. And let me know what you think, because if I could purchase up everything from Lunar Roots Magic, I totally would and will eventually invest in all natural makeup. Days 90 through 120. This time period was probably my favorite because the beginning of summer was here. I could practice a lot outside, which was really important to me. Practicing at home isn't difficult, but I only have one space in my living room where I felt super comfortable and centered enough. So by being outside, it gave me the freedom and privacy I needed to be as big as I wanted to be. I started to feel like my energy could expand outside of my body. It truly felt like I was connecting with all things, all beings here on earth. So an overview, this experience has really opened my eyes. It's grounded me more than I could ever explain or intend. I noticed that I have disconnected a lot from my social obligations. It was easy to maintain my relationships with my family here at home and my children because I live with them, but it seems like anybody outside of my bubble or realm of med meditation and comfortability has taken a complete back seat. 
this left me feeling guilty and disconnected from the importance of constantly needing to connect with social media or make plans with people. My mental well-being and my advancing physicality became the center focus in any of my spare time that I had, which I don't think is a negative thing, but delving into the realm of spirituality and connecting to something bigger than your body, it, it changes you. overall outcome. So I'm going to continue these practices every morning because it makes my day better. It makes me feel overall healthier and balanced. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, let me know because I love to hear your feedback. I didn't prepare for this yet it's become a part of my life now. And I'll never go back to waking up with nothing to do for my personal well-being on a daily basis. And that feels really good. Setting an example for my kids is important as well as them witnessing me sticking to this promise to myself. It's a great example of power of your mind and being able to accomplish anything, literally anything. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And I just wanna say thank you for stopping by.